Hi guys, welcome to Sabwenzi Academy. In today's video, we'll be solving the question 11 of the 2021 of the core match theory questions. We'll begin with question 11a. In the diagram, PQRS is a circle. The angle QRP is equal to 41 degrees. The angle PTQ is equal to 35 degrees. The line PT is a tangent and QR is parallel to PS. Find I. The angle PAQ, II, the angle PQT. So let's begin with our solution. Now we know that one of the circle theorems says that the angle subtended by the angle subtended by an arc to the center of a circle is twice the angle subtended by the same arc to the circumference of the circle. So if we take arc QP, arc QP subtends this angle to the center, which is angle PAQ. And at the same time, arc QP subtends these angles to the circumference of the circle. So this and this angle. And since this angle here is the angle this arc subtends to the circumference, and then this angle here is the angle the same arc subtends to the circumference, then we can say that 41 here is equal to 41 here. So this side will also be 41 degrees. But that is not our focus. Our focus is this angle. Now we are saying that this angle is twice the angle this arc subtends to the circumference, which is 41. So we say that the angle PAQ, which is this angle, is equal to twice this angle, angle Q. R P. And we know that angle QRP is 41. So we can say that angle PAQ is equal to 2 times 41. And this is equal to 82 degrees. So angle PAQ is 82 degrees. Now I, I says we should find angle PQT. So first we draw a line from P to touch Q. So let's clean. So we draw a line here, from here to here. So this is the angle we are supposed to find, which is the angle PQT. But we know that the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord, so this line QP is a chord. The angle that lies between this tangent and this chord, which is this angle, is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment. So this chord subtends this angle and this angle in the alternate segment. So which is this? We know this is also 41. So what we are saying is that this angle is equal to either this angle or this angle. And this angle is the same as this angle. So this angle here will be 41 degrees. So let's take triangle PQT. And we are saying that angle TPQ is 41. So this is 41. Angle PTQ, we already know, is 35. So we have to find this angle. Now we know that sum of interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180. So we can say that 
35 plus 41 plus angle P QT is equal to 180. 35 plus 41 will give us 76. So 76 plus angle P QT is equal to 180. So we can make PQT the subject. So we get angle PQT is equal to 180 minus 76, which is equal to 104 degrees. So therefore, angle PQT is equal to 104 degrees. So this brings us to the end of question 11a. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comment section as well. We'll be moving on to question 11b. The table shows the height of players of a basketball team. Calculate correct to one decimal place in centimeters the mean height of the players. So we begin with our solution. We know that mean which is x bar is equal to the sum of f of x over the sum of f. So first let's get our x, then our f, then our f of x. Our x will be the heights. So heights then our f will be number of players. Then we have our f of x. So for the heights, we have 160, 161 to 165. So 162, 163, 164, and 165. So we have four people having the height of 160. We have six people for 161, three for 162, seven for 163, eight and nine for 164 and 165 respectively. So eight and nine. So our sum of F will be equal to four plus six plus three plus seven plus eight plus nine. And that will be 37. So sum of F will be 37. Now F of X will be the product of F values and X values. So for the first row, we have 160 times 4, and that will be 640. So the next one is 161 times 6, and that will be 966. The next one is 162 times 3, and that will be 486. Then we have 163 times 7. That will be 1,141. Then we have 164 times 8. That will be 1,312. So we do the same thing for this and we get 1,485. So the sum of f of x will be equal to the sum of all these values, which will give us 6,030. So our mean is equal to, our mean will be equal to the sum of fx, which is 6030 over the sum of f, which is 37. And this would give us 162.97 centimeters. But the question says we should leave our answer to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, our mean 
will be equal to 163.0 centimeters. So therefore, the mean height is 163.0 centimeters. This brings us to the end of question 11b and to the end of question 11. In our next video, we'll be solving the question 12 of the 2021 of the core mastery questions.